Okay, so I'm going to do my reaction to the new Spider-Man Homecoming trailer. I still hate that name, Homecoming. I mean, I get it. He's coming back to being in the Marvel Universe and everything. But still, I just feel like they could have done a better name than that. Now, me, huge Spider-Man fan. Love Spider-Man. Always been my favorite character. I mean, got him tattooed on the arm. You know, I can't really see it that great, but it is what it is. Anyways, um, so if you haven't seen it, I'm going to... Play the, the video right now. Go ahead and watch the trailer, and then we'll discuss it. So, if you haven't seen it, here you go. If you've already seen it, watch it again and enjoy. If not, fast forward. It's all good. But, here we go. Avengers robbing ATMs now, huh? Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. Bob and Weeze. So, I've seen this before. I want to know who that is. Who that is with him. Uh, that better not be Harry Osborne, that's all I'm saying. Dirty. So, to become an Avenger, are there like trials or any of you? Just don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area in there. That seems That's like a you typical are. Tony Stark answer. That's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the key for you. Alright, kid. Good luck out there. Listen, I know school sucks. Peter! You still with us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you want to save the world, but you're not ready yet. You're not ready yet. I don't like that. No, I'm not. I'm not. This is just a costume. This is from the ceiling. Stay close to the ground and stay out of trouble. I'm happy they're doing the vulture, man. That's uh, I think a character that's underrated. They don't use a lot. Michael Keaton is the man. Use that spidey strength. Alright, so, there's a trailer, I'm, you know, was mostly just watching, I've already seen it, and I've already had my reaction, it would have been a real reaction to, uh, like, the first time I've seen it, so, but like I said, I, I, there's, there's things in this trailer that I'm having a little problem with, for example, they're making it seem like Spider-Man can't do things on his own, like, everybody had their own standalone movie, and here's Tony Stark, Slash Iron Man in the Spider-Man movie. And I get it. He appeared in Civil War. It wasn't in his own standalone movie first. But still. Um, I just feel like he, he should be. I hope, I'm hoping that he's not in it a lot. <clears throat> and then for example. Uh, Tony Stark. Oh you know. You're supposed to be a hero and everything. But leave the vulture guy. The flying monster guy to other people. There's other people for that. I mean that, that kind of pisses me off. I'm like come on really. I mean. I don't know. I just, it makes me seem like they're trying to downgrade Spider-Man a lot, and that's not cool to me. I mean, Spider-Man did a lot of stuff way before he, you know, got associated with Tony Stark and and uh, Iron Man and stuff like that. So that's kind of one thing that kind of pissed me off about the trailer. Um, I'm gonna say I'm still really excited to see it. Spider-Man, like I said, is my favorite character, and I'm definitely gonna be there. <laughs> Most likely day one, um, but like I said, it's just I I, I feel like if he, Tony Stark slash Iron Man is in it a lot, it's going to downgrade Spider Man. Like I mean, this is Spider Man's movie, not Tony Stark's movie. So I guess we'll see what happens. But uh, I, truthfully, I am really excited. Like I mean, I'm not going to be one of these reactions like, oh shit, dog Spider Man. Oh! No, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it. And I am excited for the movie. I'm so happy that Spider-Man is back with Marvel. And um, he's going to be in the Marvel Universe and everything. And, and I'm, I'm just, I'm, I am happy for that. But 
I mean, just looking at this trailer, it did make me, like I said, a little upset that it just makes it seem like he's getting down downplayed a little bit. Um, but I guess we'll see what happens. You know, maybe I'm just reading into this the wrong way or something. I don't know. But I am excited to see it. So I want to know who the kid is with him who's supposed to be his friend and the other girl that he's supposed to like. It's like they, it seems like they're completely going opposite of Gwen Stacy and... Um, and Mary Jane, and I know they're not the only two girls that have ever been in Peter Parker's life, but those are the ones you know the most of, so you would think that that's what they were doing. I have a lot of trust in this because Marvel's involved. Um, like, in my honest opinion, if you want to talk about the other Spider-Man movies, I always thought that Tobey Maguire was a great Peter Parker, wasn't as good uh, Spider-Man. Now you flip it around to Andrew Garfield, he was a great Spider-Man, not so great Peter Parker. And I'm kind of getting that that um, this time around, uh, I'm going to go blank on his name, Tom Holland, I believe. Yeah, Holland. Tom Holland is going to be uh, real good at both. So, we'll see what happens. Um, definitely, I'd say go check it out, because I know I am. So, excited to see Spider-Man back in the universe, and let me know what your thoughts are. Well, how did you feel about the trailer, or, or compared to the other? Well, I'm not... That's like another video, comparing him to other Spider-Mans. Um, but how did you feel about the trailer? And now do you have similar worries about, um, you know, Iron Man being in it too much and that Spider-Man has to rely on other heroes too much? We'll see what happens. But um, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and definitely check out my other videos. Until next time, deuces.